like to start by thanking Norwich, the Hall of Fame Selection Committee, Coach Mariano, and everybody else involved with this wonderful homecoming event. I'll be honest and ashamed in reporting that as my phone was ringing last June and the caller ID ran at Norwich University, I owe it to my family. Don't answer the phone, it's Norwich, and they probably want some money. <laughs> well, I was wrong, and I do apologize. Now I'm feeling quite honored and proud to spend this exciting weekend back on the hill with you. I teach at my old high school, Sanford High School in Sanford, Maine, a school of approximately 1,200 9th and 12th graders. I've been there 25 years. I worked there right after my Norwich graduation back in 1989, and it's the only job I've ever had. I've coached several sports teams and have served as a mathematics department chairperson for the past 11 years. I actually worked with the University of Southern Maine, allowing my students in calculus and statistics to earn the university's math credit. Back in June, during my prep period, I was changing out with a colleague to go for a run. A phone went vibrated, and that's when I received news via email from current wrestling coach Alex Whitney. Mark, you're not answering your phone, and Derek Dunning from Sports Information has been desperately trying to inform you that you'll be inducted into this year's Hall of Fame. I was floored. What a shocking surprise. That day as I ran, my mind was racing and wandering. I was taken back to a great time of my life here at NU. 25 years is a long time, yet memories are so crisp. I remember that college visit to NU. My dad and I traveled three plus hours north for classes that morning. The new access road was not yet operating. Oh no, back then, as many of you recall, it was a switchback meandering path leading down that cliff on I-89. I can remember being with my dad in that 82 white Ford Escort, no power brakes or steering, white knuckles fisted, <laughs> peg leg on the brake, sliding all the way down. Once down that hill, what I remember the most was the little red kettle restaurant. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, it was how busy that old brick campus was. Back then, everyone sported the old green and yellow striped uniforms. Cadets were marching around campus. Cade's calls were echoing off the buildings of the parade ground. Unaware to me that most was probably rooks in the dreaded gutter for upper class and simple walking tours. But I knew the Norwich campus was different. That's what attracted me. It was busy and energetic and exciting. I knew then that Norwich was the place where I wanted to be. I want to start by recognizing the NU's greatest wrestling fan, Colonel Anthony J. Carboni. When I first met the Colonel, he was coming out of cadets, but even more meaningful, he was a tremendous wrestling supporter. He never missed a home match, or even planned several family trips to catch his team as we competed on the road. He would be seen working out daily, challenging himself to the fullest. Term Cup only DNA oozed knowledge at university. He was certainly a great role model for young Indian cadets to emulate. He probably thought I was Italian because he kept a really close eye on me and encouraged me and selected me for many key leadership roles within the Corps cadets. Thank you, Carl. I was involved with four wrestling coaches here at Knowledge. During my junior year in high school, I began to receive handwritten recruiting letters from Samuel D. Cornell. Never met the man, it's kind of a neat name. But I continued to receive these handwritten notes in the mail, encouraged me to take the ride north, consider NU as a potential fit for college. Vince Arduini then returned to campus. Coach Arduini, as many of you know, was an NU football hero and coach. What he or we lacked in wrestling knowledge, he or we made up for in pure drudgery and condition. He ruled with an iron fist, and he was a diligent recruiter as I received a Vince phone call after every match of senior year in high school. After my sophomore year wrestling season on the hill, Vince went on to coach football at Harvard University. I remember seeing him later that winter at the tournament in Boston. And after securing a spot for finals for the first time in my college career, Vince came over, sat next to me, and said, I knew you were going to be good to marry me. Then came Peter Lukey. He was a marathon of by trade. Seriously, we ran, we ran, we ran, and we ran. Up mountains in sub zero weather, round and round this upper deck track, 10,295,012 times. <laughs> True marathon form. Not only did he travel us to the Citadel for a winter match, he also left his car, a red Subaru, broken in South Carolina. We witnessed the meltdown of his engine on Interstate 95 while looking out the back window of the van. I can see Joe Spinelli and Matt McGodgick smiling cluelessly as smoke was escaping Coach Lukey's hood as we cruised at 80 miles an hour. That was way before cell phones when we could have given a warning call. As all of these coaches were taking the helm at NU, the wrestling team was improved. We went from last in the conference my freshman year and climbed towards the top. Suddenly all the little performances were becoming the norm. Bobby Goodman, Johnny Ear, Walter Connor, John Brigham, Tommy Rainbow, Matt McGotch, David Vitti, Craig Prokos, myself, were all helping to grow NU wrestling into a New England power and also be recognized nationally. I have fond memories of longtime football coach and director of athletics, Joe Sabre. 
He was a superman with his clumsy yet reinforcing demeanor. He really wanted to see NU wrestling succeed. He wanted NU wrestling you know, to be recognized. He was a big supporter and a fan. He was always shaking our hands, checking in with us. He had a way of making us feel important. He and his wife, Ruth, would offer, offer their house, and we would actually go over as a team for banquet dinners and gatherings. Going into my senior year, Coach Luki left for Amherst College. Coach Sable actually approached and asked me if I'd help him with the hiring of our next coach. As I look back now, the request seems crazy. The Orange Director of Athletics with senior Mark Mary interviewing the next NU wrestling coach. Well, without hesitation, he chose Jesse Castro. Very motivating man who made, several, who made wrestling his life. I learned many lessons from Jesse, on and off the mat. In 1995, I was coaching wrestling at my high school, and we just won a third state championship in five years. Coach Castro made the three-and-a-half-hour trip to Sanford, Maine to be the guest speaker of my team's state championship banquet. I recently exchanged some emails with Jesse. This man is still working tirelessly to spread the word of wrestling. Jesse also recruited my coach, my brother Brian, at NU93. Brian is here today with his wife, Tiffany. The NU community watched Brian succeed as a wrestler as he garnered several successes, culminating with earning all only with honors multiple times. Brian's 1991 team has been formally recognized by the NU Hall of Fame. Brian has also gone on to be a successful teacher in Southern Maine. My brother always said, Mark, you're one run away from coming an NU Hall of Famer. I was fortunate to defeat several All-Americans while donning maroon and gold. Unfortunately, to make a trip to the Nationals, one needed to win the Northern Championship. Well, I never won that championship. Finished third as a sophomore, second as a junior, and yes, second again as a senior. Being a bridesmaid twice only fueled my fire to attack life, striving to be a better motivator, worker, coach, and father, husband. No regrets from this any wrestler. I wouldn't want it any other way. Thanks for coming, Brian. I've become a true fan of NU's current wrestling coach, Alex Whitney's, Alex Whitney's mission. He is truly creating great young men. Ultimately, that is what a sport like wrestling does. It challenges the body, the mind, and the soul. It develops one's sight and one's will. A wrestler displays his testament fortitude. Norwich University Corps Cadets in NU Wrestling definitely laid the foundation for my life. And it keeps, it continues to do the same for today's young buck student athletes. Keep it rolling with Coach Whitney. Coach Mariano, I remember that old drafty building that you coached, the names of Timmy Collins, Guggen, Snelly, 25 or 30 years ago. I still look the same, Coach. Must be a hair thing. I lost my pound when I left the <laughs> I want you to know that you have some great current coaches here representing NU. I said my son was recently recruited by Coach Rhodes, Coach Booth. You know, we saw everybody this weekend, and it was terrific. I also helped connect the current girls basketball player, Heather Blank, with Coach Zacker. Coach Z also sent me a heartfelt email this week. I'd like to acknowledge my parents, James and Roseanne, who were generally excited to make a trip back to knowledge. And they started hitting the stairs and hills again and again and again. Sorry, guy. Yeah, no more E24 and Escort and a much nicer exit or access road. More importantly, no more tuition bills. Thanks for all the support and love, Mom and Dad. I especially want to thank my wife and partner in life, Sherilyn, for 23 years. She's the rock of our family and knows how important NU and wrestling was and is to me. My children, Ryan, Summer, and Brooke. And my gifts and moments like this in life were so special because they let me reflect on how blessed I truly am to have you all in my life. I was definitely able to witness firsthand a lot of NU wrestling history. I saw a program applying from doormat to dominance. In closing, everyone in this room is a competitor. We are sitting at an event like this because athletics has been a major part of our lives. I absolutely love watching my own kids compete. My children are giving me countless memories, and I know these memories are going to make me smile in the twilight of my own life. I would like to think that my family's competitive inner drive most probably came from your old dad. I can certainly thank Knowledge and NU Wrestling for helping me pass on such competitive qualities. Carry on your mission, Knowledge. This mission has proven true for me. I thank you for another great memory and another chance to reflect on a wonderful time in my life. Thank you.